Hey everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be doing a review of the EXA E1000 WT Gaming Headset. Okay, so first things first, I want to give a special thanks to EXA for sending this headset out for review. Now, it won't be necessarily an unboxing because there's no headset in the box, nothing like that. Uh, I've already been using it, testing it out, but I want to tell you what this headset includes, what it does, its functions, uh, the sound quality, based on my opinion. I'll do a sound test with a microphone and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, this is a wireless headset and the price on this is very reasonable. Around $69.99 on Amazon, you can occasionally get 20 bucks off of that. I will have links down below in the description. Uh, if you want to buy them, they're not affiliate links. I get nothing for that. It's just there in case you want to find it a lot easier. And you can apply discount codes and stuff like that. So yeah, want to throw that out there. So these here are the EXA E1000 WT Rodus Gaming Headset. It says it's got an EXA Voice Pure ENC. EXA 7.1 Sound Base. There's your USB dongle. There's your headset. For PS5, PS4, Xbox One, S and X, Switch, and PC. Now looking here at the back of the box, it pretty much tells you everything that you need to know about this headset, okay? It says the EXA E1000WT wireless gaming headset features voice pure ENC technology and equips with EXA 7.1 sound base, offering extraordinary voice communication and immersive gaming experience. It comes with 3.5mm audio cable and supports PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, the Switch, smartphones, tablets, and anything that can be connected about 35 millimeter. And I will go through what this can be used wirelessly and all of that stuff there. And you can go to the website and look up other things as well. Now, package contents is the headset, a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, one USB dongle, one USB Type-C charging cable, which I do not have here on the table because there's not enough room for everything, one carrying pouch, and one user manual. So with the headset now on the table, I do want to, you know, give you the specs of the speakers and what it's packing. Because, I mean, honestly, for the price of these, these do sound really good. And the speaker output is very nice. This thing is sporting 50 millimeter drivers with a frequency range of 20 to 20,000. So typical gamer frequency response there, you know, the signature sound is really good here on this gaming headset. And the sensitivity is around 105 decibels, so it does get pretty loud. Uh, you know, I've listened to music, I've listened to games and stuff like that, and you know, they do get pretty loud. Now, on the left here, you will see that this does have um, this metal look here, which is it's not metal, but there's an RGB light that goes around here. Now, you know, this does have rechargeable battery. It does have USB Type C charging which is really nice. Now they claim up to 36 hours of battery life with the RGB lights off. Now with the RGB lights on, I can't find anywhere that tells the battery life, but I'm just, just say you'll get half the battery life with the RGB lights on. Okay. And the recharge time is around two and a half hours. So not too bad, you know, and all that kind of stuff there. So now Let's go into the features here of this gaming headset. So you can see here, we got the flip down, flip up for the microphone. Now here on the left ear cup is very simplistic. Everything's here on the left side of the headset. If you can see all of that there, the light, and I do apologize for this, for this lightning here. But up top here, you got your volume wheel. Up to the max, it does stop all the way down. Also stops. You got your ENC button here which also is a mute button. You also have your power button that also turn on the surround sound on and off and also cuss on and off the RGB, which I will show you all that in a minute. Down here is a 3.5 millimeter jack. And on the right cup here, you got your USB Type-C charging port with a little indicator light right there. And that's pretty much it. Now, when you look at this headset, like I said, it's a bit chunky looking here. And, you know, it's made, you know, of plastic. It does have this 
little bit of metal right here, I guess you would say. Um, but it clicks in very tightly. So I don't think you're going to have a problem uh, with having to adjust these too much. Now looking here at the ear cushions, you can see that these here are very, very plush. Okay. And when you put them on, these do... I mean, they do feel very good when you put them on. A lot of Exa headsets do have this, and it's very comfortable here. Along up top here, very cushiony, as you can see. Very nice, very cushiony, very easy to wear. Uh, it says left here and right there. Now, there is no swivel. That's one of the downfalls of this headset here is there's no swivel. And also, you can't, you know, adjust them in and out. So, basically, they're a fixed headset all right and that's and there's a problem with that and i would explain that here uh whenever i go over you know, how they feel how they fit and everything else so let's go ahead right now we will power these on so if you would just press down here on the power button for three seconds a power on rgbs come on automatically you can see how they look they look really nice but i mean honestly Unless you're using these here to like stream a game and you're, you know, wearing these, you're not going to see these RGB lights. So save your battery, honestly, you know, if you press this twice, the RGB lights go off. If you press it once, actually, let's turn up the volume. We can actually hear this. Surround sound on. Surround sound on. Surround sound off, okay. So now here's the ENC button. If you press this once, microphone off. microphone's off, microphone, on. microphone on. If you hold it down, ENC on, ENC on. ENC off. ENC off. Now, there is a way in here. I Trying to remember, <laughs> like I say, uh, two buttons do basically everything. So yeah, now double tap again, of course, if you want your LED lights or your RGB lights here to be on. And, you know, that's pretty much it just for the looks um, of this headset. You know, I mean, you know, it does have really nice bendability here. I don't really hear much creaking, you know. I mean, it does seem to stretch out. I mean, if you got a big old head, I mean, you can stretch them out here. And I don't really see any creaks and rattles, nothing like that. These are very durable. Exa makes some really good headsets, if if I'm being honest here. Now, I was thinking this might be a flip up to mute, but it's just not. Okay, you flip it down. If you flip it up, you're still going to be able to hear, <laughs> you know, you got to make sure that if you want your mic to be muted, that you push the ENC button microphone off. to turn off microphone, okay? There's nothing lit up here, nothing like that to show you that it's off or on. You got to just hope that it is muted, all right? So that is the basic functions there, you know, of this headset. 3.5 millimeter cable here. This is for Xbox and I... You know, I'm not able, you know, this is the dongle that it comes with, okay, for PS4, PS5, and PC. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to test this out. You know, I'm waiting for the day for EXA to actually make a Xbox certified wireless headset. You know, I've asked them about it. You know, I told them that I think it would be a great idea if they would do that. But all their headsets that are wireless is for PlayStation or PC. So hopefully one day soon they will make one for Xbox compatibility. Um, and they just power it off. Okay, just like that. Okay, by themselves. So anyway, now I do want to show you this here. So if you was to power these on, this is one major downside. So if you use the 3.5 millimeter to plug into your Xbox... Let's plug this in now. The whole thing cuts off, okay? You can't use the ENC. You can't use the mic on or off. You can't use the RGB lights. You can't use the surround sound. You can't do anything, okay? You can hold down the power button as long as you want to, and it won't do anything. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions and do the microphone test and just give my thoughts of the signature sound 
that I am getting with this extra headset. Okay, I have used it on Xbox using 3.5 millimeter and I'm looking down right here because I do want to get a lot of things accurate. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, I am not a professional when it comes to gaming headsets, okay? I do the best I can. I use a lot of gaming headsets, but I'm still not there yet when it comes to professionalism when it comes to this. So just bear with me, and I keep this as short as possible. Um, but yeah, like it said, you know, 36 hours, that's a long time on a battery, you know, with the RGBs off. And like I said, if you're not, you know, on a PC with a camera shining on you, Keep them off, because honestly, you can't see them anyway. So the ENC, I believe, means electronic noise cancellation for the microphone. It's not like ANC, where you know it completely cuts out the background noise when you're wearing these. It's supposed to cut out around 96% of background noise on the microphone. I wasn't able to test that out because it's available on PC, which I don't use. I don't own a position 4 or 5. So I can't test those features out. Unfortunately, I wish I could. But I can't. Now, right up here on screen, I'm going to show you because Exa does have a sound based software for PC only. Now, you can go in here and customize. As you can see, you can customize the EQ. You can customize a bunch of stuff with their online Windows software. And it does say that the Exa sound based software supports Windows only. Now, if you was to save your preset i'm not sure if that will carry over to a ps4 ps5 i'm unaware of that i don't know i don't see that anywhere here um, i'm guessing it's maybe for windows only or for pc use but you know the the sound stage the signature sound for these do sound really good they got really good bass they got really good treble you know it's not overpowering bass it's a, it's a good sounding bass and exa really has their you know their sound stage set pretty good you know just from the get-go you know plugging into the xbox with 3.5 the microphone sounds crisp the sound sounds really good but where my biggest problem is is the fit Okay, when you put these on, you know, it cuts out some background noise. However, since they're not able to be twisted around and you're not able to adjust it, you get a lot of pressure points on the back side of the ear cups. Okay, in the front here, I do feel like there is noise leakage okay because it doesn't sit flush against my head now if you get everybody's head shapes differently so we've got smaller heads different shaped heads or whatever but for me after about i mean there's there's a, there's a lot of pressure point down here on my for me a lot of pressure point that could have been alleviated by having you know rotating cups okay which they opted not to do when you put when now with the microphone, when you pull it down, you know, this is typically how I wear my headset and it's right in kind of your field of view and it doesn't bend very well. It does bend, but it kind of pops back into place a little bit here and you can kind of adjust it to your mouth or away from your mouth or whatever you want to do. Microphone sound test coming up here very shortly, but the fitment right here for me is just not good okay uh it's an open space it lets noise leak out but still they do sound very solid okay but i do believe you know that it will fit some people just fine but for me a lot of pressure points going from the back all the way down here to this area here it's not very comfortable for long playing sessions they may need to implement some rotation some cup i mean i can feel it in my jaw right now for wearing it for just a minute or two so comfort i would say you know out of 10 i would give comfort a six um just because of that reason right there now some of the cons okay and this is a biggie for me i play on xbox series x only 3.5 millimeter okay Nothing is able to be used when you hook to a 3.5 millimeter, which is on Switch. If you're on Xbox, there is no setting, okay? You cannot mute your mic. You cannot turn on the RGBs. 
You cannot use the 7.1 surround sound. You cannot use the ENC for the microphone. You can use nothing, okay? You can mute nothing. If you are using Xbox and you are talking to a party, you have to literally pull the 3.5 out of the bottom of the controller to disconnect because you can flip up the mic and people will still hear you. Okay, so in my personal opinion, it was not implemented very well in this headset in that in in that factor okay for the xbox now i know it's not it says it's for xbox switch whatever goes with 3.5 millimeter but it's not executed very well to where you can't even mute your mic you know anywhere not even in the cable is there anywhere you can mute anything you know the volume works and if you want to just divorce the chat on xbox you have to go into the xbox system and do that manually so not xbox friendly at all the same applies with the switch so now i'm gonna go ahead right now i gotta change phones to a 3.5 millimeter to give you a microphone test so let's go ahead and see how that sounds okay so here is a sound test this is the audio you will get with 3.5 millimeter with microphone. Okay, it does not come with a windscreen, or I didn't sit in the box or anything like that. Now, if I go up to mute, you know, I can't mute it. There's nothing I can do. You can still hear me talking. So back down here again, I said you can bend this down and you can adjust it, you know, and if it bends back up, whatever. But this is. You know, the sound test of the EXA E1000 WTs using 3.5 millimeter. This is what it's going to sound like on a Switch. It's what it's going to sound like on an Xbox Series X and S or Xbox One. Um, here it is. Uh, now, there's no windscreen. If there's a windscreen, it might help out a little bit if it was a popping and uh, depending on how you talk and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, what do y'all think about the sound test here? microphone quality of this exa headset i think personally for the price of around 50 bucks you know of course it's going to sound different you know with a dongle on a pc playstation you know usually 3.5 millimeter doesn't mean a better sound than through a dongle but yeah how does it sound let me know i like to hear from you so there you have it. There is the EXA E1000 WT wireless gaming headset. Um, really nice, okay? I mean, you know, if you got a smaller head, different shaped head, it might suit you just fine. I think for the normal price of $70, it's not bad. But, you know, a few dollars more, you, might, you can get one that's going to be compatible with Xbox, PlayStation, all of those. Um, but if you can get it for a price of around $50, you know, or maybe less, and you're able to use it wirelessly, you know, the signature sound, really good. I mean, I can play games. Everything has got some, it's got some nice, good deep bass, got some nice highs. It just overall sounds good. Like I said, EXA has one of the best, in my opinion, has one of the best signature sounds. Not sure how they do it, but keep it up because, I mean, it's working. Um, but if you're wanting this for Xbox, you know, or the Switch, and you won't use it wirelessly, it ain't gonna be the headset for you. Many drawbacks if you are an Xbox player. Um, look, look elsewhere. I mean, hopefully, Exa one day will make a Xbox certified wireless headset where I can really thoroughly test it out uh, with 3.5 with a dongle microphone all that kind of stuff give you my opinions on it but overall i would say for a price of around 50 bucks with all the features it has been able to go in there with their system uh, software and be able to change equalizer to make it sound even better than it does already um you know it's very hard for me to tell you you know what's good and what's not when it comes to sound quality because we're all different some of us like really high highs some of us like really boomy bass some like just a flat natural sound um but overall you know other than the fact that you know there's no swivel it's a fixed fixed headset 
Build quality seems to be solid. I mean, uh, yeah, you could throw these around and these are built like a tank. And I really believe these would do a really good job, but I'll leave it up to you. You know, uh, links are down below in the description. Like I said, not affiliate. I don't get paid nothing for you to click these links, but it helps you out to save money. So we'll be sure to check those out down below uh, in the description. So yeah, that's my review of the EXA E1000WT. If it's helpful, informative in any way, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it down below. If you're new around here and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit that bell for all notifications of future videos to come. I'd really appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.